Welcome to another video, it's Sim King here, and today we're just showing off all the mistakes Konami's made, and they made another mistake. They're doing the Sandy Spell Festival, but they once again forget to ban Jerry Bean's man. I don't know what it's going to take to teach them a lesson, but we're going to try and teach Konami a lesson right now. Opponent is going first, playing Lyra Lusk. Lyra Lusk is going to wombo combo, and they do not care about Max C. We activate a Max C, they're going to keep comboing. Jerry Soul, Bean Sword. Jerry Sword, Bean Soul. That is the name of this deck. We got Jerry Bean's Man, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, Jerry Bean's Man is not core to this deck. What about Jerry Bean's Man is, is going to be useful here? Are you even going to summon Jerry Bean's Man? Now just wait. I will answer all of these questions, but first, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we'll have more quality gameplay coming up in the future. Opponent, are you almost done here? Opponent still Wombo Comboing. They're making a Utopic Future. Going into our boy, Utopic Draco Future now. You've seen me make him before. Never have we seen him on the enemy's side. Opponent trying to activate from hand. You know what? Time to stop this. Let's activate Cy Frame, Frame Gear Gamma. Opponent is going to negate. Now the negate effect of Utopic Future does not destroy. It only steals if the card's on field. So we actually still got Gamma Gear in hand. And we're still drawing. Opponent is making a ensemble. Gonna activate an effect, and they're about to find out this is not a once per turn. We can activate the Cyphrim Gear Gamma again. Negate and destroy. Send that ensemble to the graveyard. All right, Jerry Beans Man already doing things, and it's not even our turn yet. We have a billion cards. Now let's show how Jerry Beans Man. We have 30 cards in hand. Jerry Beans Man is core here. Let's start by negating the effect of this Utopic Draco Future. Opponent is going to pay 4,000 life points to stop us. Well, opponent, you know what? We got another one where that came from. Old man saying no is not enough. Let's activate the second Imperm. Negate the effect of the Utopic Draco Future. We don't want our monsters getting negated. And now we summon the Jerry Beans Man. And I know what you're thinking. Was there another way to do this? No, this is the optimal play. Summon Jerry Beans Man, and now this enables us to activate the Tenny Spear of Ishuda because we have a normal monster on the field. We can send a card to the hand. Send that boy back to the extra deck. Let's special summon Sword Soul, and now you're seeing the full power of Jerry Sword Bean Soul. This is the new tier one. Let's summon Baron, pop that back row. And it's Jerry Bean's lethal opponent activating Crackdown. Baron is going to say, no, you will not steal my Jerry Bean's man. Jerry Bean's man will maintain his loyalty to us. Let's attack directly with the Jerry Bean's man and hit them with the Baron for lethal. All right. What a great game. We didn't even use a bunch of cards in our hand. Jerry Bean's man was there to be the hero. All right. Now I know what you're thinking. That was one game. Let's see another one. All right, let's go. Now, this Andy Spell Festival has been a lot of fun. If you like this deck list, check out the end of the video. I'll have the full deck. You can take a look. Copy it for yourself while the festival's still up. Opponent set in three back row and passing. Classic, classic festival. Let's get going. Start with an evenly matched. Clear up some of these cards, but opponent has Solemn. Solemn gonna negate. All right, opponent saving a card here. But their uh, Solemn's gone. Now they have no way to stop Jerry Bean's man normal summon. Let's go main phase two. Start by summoning the Ashuna. Normal summon the Sword Soul. Revealing the Vishuda in hand. Get ourselves a nice little Sword Soul token. And you've seen this before, or have you? We're going to make Adam Ancipator Risen Dragite. Dragite can negate once per turn. A spell or trap effect. Let's pass to the opponent here. I was worried. I don't know what these set back row are. Yeah, I'm going to be careful. I'm not going to throw Jerry Beans Man's life away. Opponent passing back with no actions. Let's link up into a Monk of the Tenyi. And now it is time. It is time. Let's activate. Send the card back to hand. Opponent going to pop their other card. Not sure what that's all about. I guess they didn't want to get negated by the Dragite. The pop card was a... Here we go. Tribrigate Revolt. Couldn't use that opponent revealing that they had a DD Crow in hand banishing card from the graveyard. But Jerry Beans Man is making this lethal. Let's attack with the Dragite. Alright. 
beautiful game versus Tri Brigade potentially. All right, let's go on to the next game. One of the great things about Jerry Beans, man, is that he can sometimes cause an emotional damage victory. Just revealing Jerry Beans, man, is enough to make your opponent concede. Let's see what goes on in this game. Opponent summoning Zodiac, going straight into Dryden, setting a back row and passing to us. All right, well, we got a great hand. We drew Jerry Beans, man. And you'll notice, Dryden, 1600 attack points. Not enough to kill Jerry Beans Man. Jerry Beans Man attacks over. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna Ecclesia. Ecclesia is gonna search from the deck and special summon our one of fun of. Then we're gonna normal summon. We're gonna normal summon Jerry Beans Man. Opponent, get, get out of here, you're in max seat. We'll show, we'll show opponent trying to pop. Uh, uh, opponent, that's a quick effect on Ecclesia there. We're gonna activate the effect summon our one of fun of but opponent is done then we get to see what our fun of one of was well we were gonna we were gonna summon a fallen albaz and use their monster diffusion summon into the beautiful mirror jade dragon then we could have summoned jerry beans man attacked over attack for lethal well it wouldn't have been lethal but it would have been a lot of damage but opponent's just given up all right well we can't stop our opponent from being cowards let's go on to the next game i think it's possible our last opponent sensed that jerry beans man was coming and concede it early. But you let me know what you think in the comments. Our opponent is going first and they are penduluming. Well, there's one thing you know about pendulums, is that they wombo combo forever. So let's fast forward some things. We're gonna activate Max C. Might as well draw some cards while they're wombo comboing. Opponent making brawn. Gonna pop their own pendulum scales. Who knows what pendulum's doing? Now I do say the one thing about pendulums is you always make sure to negate their electromite. That's the one thing I know about pendulums. Let's start with Ecclesia. Activate the effect to summon a Moe. Our opponent is going to negate with the Baron. That is alright. One negate down. But we got more where that comes from. Let's normal summon the Taya. Opponent gonna pop with the Titan Pendulograph. But we got one more play. Let's strategist. Special summon from the hand. Make that Sword Soul token. Go into our own Baron. And we're gonna pop a card. We're gonna pop their pendulum scale. Pop that scale. Attack over their abyss actor. And now opponent, we got Baron. Your Baron has no negate. Our Baron still has the negate. So if they try and pop our Baron, we negate. Negate and pop. Opponent just choosing to crash. Trading the Barons. Activating a harmonizing magician, but they only got one skill. Not gonna not gonna help them here. Unfortunately, we draw another Cyframe Gear Gamma. So we don't have any plays either. Not gonna normal summon the Moe without a worm in hand. And where is Jerry Bean's man? Jerry Bean's man. If you were here, we could start attacking for Jerry Bean damage. An opponent is pendulum summoning. Thanks to the new master roll. They don't get to vomit their entire extra deck onto the field. Thank you, base Konami. We draw. There we go. Sword Soul. It's time. Let's activate the Moe. Make the token. Opponent. Gonna pop the token. That's okay. And you know, we, we're, you're seeing this here. We just crashed. Why did we crash? Because we're worried about Electromite and we want to keep our Cyframe Gear Gamma active and we have to control no monsters. So that's why we crashed there. Opponent probably thought it was a little suspicious, but sometimes you got to be suspicious in order to win. An opponent is normal summoning, falling for the bait, making the Electromite, activating the effect. And now it's Cyframe Gear Gamma time. Let's special summon and negate the effect, destroy the Electromite. Get popping. Beautiful. Where's Jerry Beans, man? This is the perfect time. Let's draw Jerry Beans, man. Ah, uh, fortunately, it's just a Vishuda. All right, strategist, do your work. Special summon. Let's make a level 10 synchro, but opponent. They sensed Jerry Beans, man, was on their way, and they conceded. All right, well, I think we have time for one more Jerry Beans game. Let's go. Is Jerry Beans, man, the best deck for this festival? Well, you'll have to tell me. And where is Jerry Beans Man? He has been surprisingly absent. Unfortunately, in a way they nerfed Jerry Beans Man pretty hard because usually I run six copies by using Unexpected Die to search for him, but Unexpected Die banned. So we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. We got some Sword Souls here. Do the typical Sword Soul start. Grandmaster, draw a card. Hey, the Bean, he's here. All right, Bean Man, do your worst. Opponent, no, meteoring our whole field with Nibiru. This is not good. 
Now we're gonna activate our Shuna here. Because I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna get an Ardhara. Monk of the Tenyi. And I use my Ardhara here. We got the banished Ashuna. Uh, we could have done is uh, activated our Fashuda, returned us to hand. And then we could have uh, added the Fashuna back to hand. And we haven't summoned that one yet. We could have summoned that one. And then we could have used its effect to get back yeah, Link 2 into the Tenyi. Yeah, we could have discarded a card, gone into, uh, gotten our Sam Grandmaster back. But you know what? We're not here to play optimally. We're, we're here to rely on Jerry Beans and carry us to victory. Opponent summoning Uni Zombie. Playing Vampires, very spicy opponent. Our Nibiru token is quite chunky though. So let's see if you have a way to deal with that. Opponent linking into a Sucker. Sucker gonna get sucking. No, yes. Who knows what's happening. Opponent activating a lot of effects. Familiar is going to search for a Frowlin. And Sucker is gonna just draw a card, I guess. Who knows? Making a Fascinator. Fascinator gonna target a monster in the graveyard. Special summon in defense position. Very rude opponent. Setting for back row. Unreal. Stealing our token. Gonna attack. No, not gonna attack. They skipped the battle phase. If they had gone to battle, we would have evenly matched. I guess opponent realized <laughs> what could have happened. They realized the danger. Skipped the battle phase. Went straight to our turn. All right, well, probably a good move on your part, opponent. Let's normal summon the bean. No, opponent, how could you? Opponent clearly knows that Jerry Bean's man is the most powerful card in our deck, and they have put him to sleep with a floodgate trap hole, the only out to Jerry Bean's man. This is chaos. Let's see if Sword Cole can get us out of this situation. But without Bean Man, I don't know. I do not know. So let's make the Supreme Sovereign. Now when we banish card, we can banish a card on the field and graveyard, but opponent has another floodgate trap hole. What is this madness? Opponent putting our Supreme Sovereign to sleep. Let's activate. Get a Shathana from the deck and we forgot about the Nibiru. They still have it. Okay, that was a big mistake. I should not have just played into that Nibiru like a complete fool. But my Jerry Beans man was asleep and I was just emotionally damaged by that happening. So uh, we're going to just pass to the opponent. Opponent pack and passing back to us. We drew another Jerry Beans man. All right, perfect. Let's get going. Jerry Beans man power. Attack over this giant meteor. That is right. Bean man bigger than the meteor. Opponent summoning a Fraulein. Fraulein can pay life points to boost its attack and defense. So it doesn't die, but opponent's losing life. All right, passing back. Opponent sat in a card here. Still not able to use our evenly matched. Going straight to battle, and I just wanted to see if Jerry Beansman would be able to destroy the Fraulein. Um, he can't. He can't do it. He tried his best. Fraulein too strong. Let's try again with the Nibiru token. Opponent paying life points. They're down to 1,400 life points. One more turn of this, and opponent will be done for. Jerry Beansman showing off his power. Opponent summoning Azuki gets to foolish burial any zombie to their graveyard and Mizuchi gonna banish itself to special summon a zombie from the graveyard. They're gonna Yuna zombie do it again, send another Mizuchi to the graveyard, and then they're making Chaos Ruler Dragon. This is just madness. Searching the top five cards. Adding one to hand. They add a vampire. Send the rest to the graveyard. And now they're activating another Mizuki. That is the third Mizuki this turn. Konami, you ever heard of once per turn? Special summoning the Vavoid. And now they're going into a level 8 XZ Lancelot. Lancelot's negate effect is mandatory. So if opponent activates an effect, the Lancelot will negate it. But Lancelot can attack directly. Is opponent going to go into Zeus? Wipe our board? No, they're going to pop. Pop our Nibiru token. That is not good news. That is bad news. Let's draw. It's a Moe. Moe gonna get summoning. And opponent gonna negate with a Lancelot. That's our bad. We probably should have just activated the Ashuna, but if we'd done that, it would have gotten negated. We wouldn't have had a worm in hand. So who knows what the optimal play is. Let's activate it now. Summon the Adara. And now we're gonna make a great play. Go into Draco Berserker. And now we're gonna make a terrible play because you know what we just did? We gave up Jerry Bean's man, and this is where things start going downhill. What we should do is attack the Fraulein. He'll have to pay a thousand life points, and that's fine. 
That's just the way it be. But instead what we do is not that. We attack the Lancelot. Opponent just pays 1,100 life points to kill our Dragon Berserker. That's not good. That is not good. That's really bad, actually. <laughs> now we got no Jerry Beans, man. We're, we're in trouble. We do have this set, Sword So Supreme Sovereign. And their monster's still attacking us directly. Not ideal. Let's draw. It's the Albaz. Albaz could use their monster to fusion summon, but they uh, are forced to negate, so that's not going to happen. And now we can't really do much with this Albaz. We can set this evenly matched, though. So let's get setting. Just kidding. We're holding it in hand. Because even if we did activate, we got four cards. You know, what's the opponent going to do? Banish two? That's not really going to be that good. Pass him back to us. We draw an Imperm. Imperm going to save us? No. Imperm cannot save us, and our Jerry Beans Man is sleeping. Jerry Beans Man, wake up. We need you. We need you, Jerry Beans Man. Hey, a heavy Storm Duster. Going to pop our Imperm. Not that it was doing very much anyway. Opponent, do you have a way to get out from under the Supreme Sovereign, though? They have been attacking directly. Special Summoning Retainer. Special Summoning I Sold A. Making a level 6 succeed Dark Vampire. Wow, opponent, this deck is extremely spicy. I have never seen vampires before, and they are sending a card to the graveyard. Wow. Wow. Targeted sending. Sending a card. They, for some reason, are making us suffer even longer, keeping our Jerry Beans Man on the field. If opponent destroys both of our monsters and we don't die, we can activate that evenly matched. Let's maxi opponent summoning back that Chaos Ruler. Chaos Ruler back on the field. But our life points, our life points are dwindling. Drawn into that Ash Blossom. Opponent non-targeted sending our Ash to the graveyard. Ben, I can't do it. I can't watch Jerry Beans Man die while he's sleeping like that. I had to surrender. Was that the right thing to do? I don't know. Maybe. You tell me. Maybe Jerry Beans Man would have flipped face up, destroyed their entire board, and won the game for me. I know that probably is what should have happened. I, 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 you know, you know, forget that game happened. That was that was an accidental game. This game is being deleted now. Let's go. All right, here is the best deck for the Anti Spell Festival. It's Jerry Sword Bean Soul, and it never lost a game. I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely did not lose any games playing this deck. It's perfect and flawless. The Sword Soul cards sort of help the Jerry Bean Man game, Jerry Beans Man gameplay strategy. In the extra deck, we have our one copy of Mirror Jade, who you did not get to see, but was almost summoned once. We also got a bunch of Synchro Monsters to, you know, use our Soul Souls, I guess. We got Heartland Draco to attack directly, make a Zeus. We got some Lynx. We got a nice little Underworld Goddess. Uh, and that's it. That's the deck list. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you want to see next. The festival's ending soon. Might have time for one more video. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. And I'll see you next time. Have a good night.